Oh, can't get off at four left. It's a right bit. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back at Lumersall Lakes. Sunday, uh, Easter Sunday open. Um, only about 15 have come today, which is like eight. I've drawn peg 13. Um, it's not not the best area. It's an end peg, so hopefully got a nice little like a point what comes out of here. So hopefully we might be able to get one one or two lined up on this margin. Um, because there's like a full bay down to my left with no one fishing. So. I've had a skimmer and an F1, I've been fishing about 10-20 minutes, you know what I'm like, I'm always setting up late, so just had an indication on tip then. Yes, I'm always setting up late, aren't I? But yeah, I've had a skimmer and an F1. Just had an F1. Um, I've got two lines out at 11 like I normally do. And basically just one line at margin, maybe one in, in front as well. Indication on tip. But now it's warming up a bit, a little bit. The left hand line. Um, I've got that set up as, a, a, as hard pellets. Uh, the right hand line, I've got it up for Maggie Captain Soft Pellet, you know. That, that kind of. There's lots of fish topping up down that bay. Yeah, so there's, there's loads of fish topping down there. But we'll see. I've got a pellet waggler rod set up. Well, I've not set to put a float or anything on, but it's there. Um, so I don't think it's going to get warm and that sun's going to get high, so I don't think that some of the fish will come up. Um, but we'll see, I suppose. But yeah. We've got meat, corn, maggots, normal array of bait. I'll show it later in a bit. But yeah, I do fancy it. Hopefully, I can get. I'm not really good at pellet waggle fishing, so I need practice. I am going to put a bit, little bit bait down in this right hand margin now. I'm pretty sure I've just seen a couple of fish down there. Yeah, well, you've all, you all have a nice, had a nice Easter, because this will probably be at the end of, the end of the Easter holiday day. Um, but uh, yeah, we had a nice time and what have you, but.
definitely looks good for a fisher too. There's so many fish chopping down in that bay. I'm gonna pop a feeder down there. I'm gonna think I'm gonna I'm just gonna lock put my feeder down here. We'll never go over to Ireland, but honestly, the, the amount of fish what's showing down in that bay. After another. Yeah, so we've got four more pellets on the side tray, corn, you know, just normal stuff really. And another one. I'm going to have to just try and flip this round there, definitely. You can't go any further than the next peg, I don't think. I know you can't do it on poles anyway, but I can't get it to the next peg. It's like, that little liner. It like comes out like that, a spit. The, the chap on the tip in front of me on 20 peg 23 he's had one another liner it's holding there now yeah that's on I don't think it realised it was on then got my monster nine foot back with I had a, spare, had a couple of spare tips anyway one and a half ounce one and what have you but uh, I went and got another tip. This feels like a carp. Oh no, I didn't have an F1. I had a little common carp, to be honest. This looks like another little common. No, it's a, a nice F1, I think. That looks it. Oh, we're happy with that. So. Be nice to have a two net day, wouldn't it? That's with some pellets. I, what I did, I did some pellets last night. Well, my, my youngest daughter did some pellets on me last night. She put some liquids on, some uh, liquid molasses in, some big fish mix. Uh, liquid that's from this is from carp side uh, I mean, you can get molasses from any side but um <sighs> yeah liquid molasses that um some big fish mix and what else did you put on? Put in um, oh some dynamite baits. Um, that meat, smoked meat one.
I'm going to say three pound flat. So yeah, we've got about seven pound in net roughly. Um, Yeah, so that's it. Quite surprised how deep it was on these pegs straight in front and down in this margin. Um, I managed to find around three foot down in this margin at left. And a nice sort of spot. Um, It's like this steep and then it flattened and drops off again. So I'm hoping on that little spot will be nice. Right, another couple of liners then. I tell them that, that they're fishing around feeding because you took that dip, 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 dip. Then it's just a normal line, it's steady where the fish pulls, but. But yeah, we've had a couple of fish to start with early, so hopefully it can only get better as the day warms up. I've gone with the hybrid type feeder again today, not the pellet col the, 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 the scoop feeder. Um, I think last week that, that caught me the extra fish what I needed. Yeah, what I'll do, guys, is I'll get back to you. If there's any more updates to be done, let's see what happens. Uh, I do think we might be in for a decent day today. I'm hoping to get a couple on pellet waggler, I really am. It would be lovely. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll get that to you in a bit, guys, and uh, fingers crossed we've got a few fish in there, but yeah, so I'll catch you in a bit. A minute after turning you off, we walked into another one. One tip. So, hopefully. Hopefully we get a couple more. Feels like an F1, I think. You probably Ed made an Ed B, a, a B line for what margin rushes.
Looks like a carp, to be fair. Yeah, it's a carp, a common carp. Maybe five pound, six pound, maybe. Yeah. I don't think it realised it looked. <laughs> Bad fish. So I just used, uh, like I said, the pellets with the, the, with them liquids on. They're not normal liquids. They're like what you, you get with glis like the proper food-based liquids, um, and a bit of strawberry syrup. Well, that's what you need. You I can't stress enough how much food based liquids are, food liquids, liquid liver hydro, fish hydro and stuff like that. But yeah, so what I'll do is I'll catch you in a bit guys, hopefully we'll get a few. Hey guys, yeah, welcome back there. Uh, we're about uh, an hour, an hour and a half in now, we've got about £20 in there. Um, just keep picking F1s off the island. Uh, I've lost the carp. Um, Felt like a good fish to be fair as well, which just couldn't stop it. We're going and going and up just pulled at last minute, so not not the best hook order, I don't think, but never mind. It's a nice day to be fair, nice bit of ripple. Overcast, so Hopefully, you should fish all right. Keep mixing up what you basically keep using me. I mix with my, ye my yellow micros, what I do with me, the uh, essential cell activator. Um, then I've done the, the fish meal type ones, what I've done with the fishy light hydros. Uh, and then I've done a, a some plain with some red sticky uh, sticky method pellets so I've got a little bit of um, and I've been putting some uh, strawberry syrup on and I've had I've had a, the, the bites have been with have come quicker when I've had the, the strawberry syrup on I think there's an odd, odd F1 coming out all over lake to be fair I'm hoping we can get a couple of that margins as well at some point. But I'll, I won't be too unhappy if we just caught on the on tip all day. Nice, easy day, hot tip. Be lovely, wouldn't it?
They always knock you some off me, honestly. Always. If I don't break something, I'll knock something off while I'm fishing then. I've not, I've not been fishing. <sighs> I've had some serious injuries while I've been fishing. It's crazy, isn't it? Ruptured my calf muscle. Last year. Um, I have I've had some Mac crazy injuries while fishing. Just feed that line with some maggots just in case. Or an indication on tip them. Keep getting indications. Um, some of the bites have just been where the tip's been bouncing and not pulled right down. That's a fish. No, it's not. Definitely move the feeder though. Definitely did move the feeder. Try a little bit further off it. Not going as close to island this cast. I've come about two foot off the island. I'm just going to try that, because the line, it, the tip pulled right round and dropped straight back, so I know for a fact that feed has moved then, 100%. A couple of four millies over there. This wind's been a pain, I tell you. <coughs> Look a bit of four millies over that spot. Tim's had another one, he's had a couple as well, Tim, so off corner, other end of the island. <laughs> Indication then.
get another couple of minutes on this tip line and then I'm going to try my uh, hard pellet line. I just need a bit of a rest because it's been eight minutes or so. I've been talking to you guys and I've not, I've run out a couple of indications of. Tim's into another one. I've got pellet rag all out, and I, I just, I don't know, this conditions don't seem very good for it. Indications of well dried up on this line, so finish this drink and I'm gonna have another go. I'm gonna have a go on pole line. So that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> did it did did it do Young guy across from me has caught another one, so they must have gone right back round to that bit. So we'll we'll see if, if he pushes them back round to me. So that's what I think we're at. We seem to hold up off the end of that twenty off that island there, but more on his in his water. We've been casting back. He's just had one, so when we see him casting back over to there, he's going to push him back round this way. <coughs> so I do think that can happen. My bites have dried up when he stopped casting method feeder.
Right, so what I'll do is I'll get back to you in a bit if anything happens. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a couple more, but uh, until then, I'll give you an hour, uh, an update in, a, in an hour or two. So I'll catch you in a bit, guys. Hi, right, guys, welcome back. Um, yeah, so it's fishing alright at the minute. I think I've got about £34. Pounds. Um, I just had just lost a cart down at margin to me to my left. Um, and I've just landed a, a, a decent F1, a four pound F1. From the same place. Just down here to the left. Um, there seems to be a few fish coming out all over the lake, to be honest. The two chaps across from me seem to be catching, other than 23 and 24. The guy to my right seems to have had a couple. I feel like everybody's having, having a few, which is nice to see, to be fair. So you want to see in it, you want to see everybody catching a few. Indications up float. Ooh. Yeah, you want to see everybody having a few, don't you? Not too many like so they beat you, but enough. If you know what I mean. <laughs> This blinking wind of pain in the room, it's hard to control flow. Seems to be a lot of, a lot, maybe too many fish down in this margin at the minute. The floats bouncing everywhere. It's quite a deep margin where I am as well. I think I've plumbed one up to come even shallower and short, shallower up onto the bank. But I thought I'd start off in the bit a little bit deeper than that, and it has gone under. I can see another in indication then up float. We've had a few fish out uh, long on the hard four mil pellet as well, banded pellet. Um, I've not even tried the ground bait line yet. Float is up and down, up and down. And that were an indication then I should have I should have had that float went flying under. I think I might be laying just a bit too much line up deck. Probably could be replumbing up. That's a fish on. It's just pulled elastic out. Yeah, there just seems to be a few getting caught everywhere, to be honest. This could be a corpse. Ah, oh, looked carps, maybe. A big fish because it's done the bottom. Hmm. 
going to re-plumb it up actually. That's two fish now I've been bust off them. And just put that there, six. So I'm messing about here. Just when I do sort this out. Let's drop that there. Right. Let me just get this job. This thing on. Pick the wrong one up. Everything. Just pop method feeder down there. I'll just sort this, sort this out. Can't remember where I got this hook from now. Which one? There we go. Guy next to me seems to be catching fish shallow. No. But they're is having odd F one, but the rest of them seem to be small silvers. I'm gonna have to get a second keep net, I think. And drop that in. I know if I packed her on. Just bear those guys, I'm going to get a second key there. <laughs> Watch that rod. I'm just going to put it in for just in case, actually. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to pop this over there while I'm really plumb this up. Need it to be need to be perfect, doesn't it, Margin? Perfect. Oh, I'll pop this on there. <laughs> All right. Me plumb this margin. This is how deep it is, it margin. What? Three and a bit foot, three and a half foot.
Solid lineup, tip there straight away. And chap over there, he's catching. Well done as well. Yeah, that's perfect, you know. Yes, everybody seems to be catching a few, which is great. Gonna shorten this line here between all different float. <laughs> Kid next door has got needs to be getting and going shallow to be honest. Here's going to be one shallow. To be fair, I've not even set a shallow rig up yet, but I am going to do it. I've been meaning to put it up all day, but... I just don't, I've just not bothered. Is it? I just there's too many small fish. You catch too many small fish on it. There we go. Beautiful. Sorted. Gonna feed some corn and that down this line, this margin line. If I go back up, not need to. There's a fish on that. That's a calf on that. I've lost four fish today, I've had two bust me up bottom. And then one popped off on, on pole. Every time I pick up pole to put, put, put some bait out, tip goes around. Feels like a nice fish, another nice fish. Another one of them uh, little commons, I think. Well, the feisty F1. Yeah, little feisty F1.
Another few pounds there. What would you say, Ray? What I'm going to do before I put that back out. Just put that there, say. Now I'll have a quick go down in this margin I am. Last stick I've got in is that white new fish one. 12, just in it. 14 is it? I don't know. I think it's 12 or 14. It's going to feed that line there. there go. That's too far. So yeah, Let's have a cook, see if there's any fish still down in this margin. I think I put too much bait on the long pole line, I'll get skimmed out. Too many indications. Um, what I probably should have done is he's gone shallow I'll set that, I'm going to put the tip back out in a bit and I'm going to try shallow anyway so not going to bite that what an indication on float then and another But now I miss that chuffing thing. Leaving a pot, bit of pole section behind me. Um, so if I do hook a cap, I can chase it out a little bit. <laughs> indications, the indications. Right chaps, I'm going to plug away, what I'll do is I'll catch you back in a bit. I right, guess so we've booked into a cart down this margin. Uh, it is flying. <laughs> Keeps trying to get round here. We're losing too many fish today. Not happy about that. <laughs> right, I'll catch you in a bit. I'm gonna have to go. I'm not happy. Hi guys, welcome back. We're into the last hour now. Um I think I've got 50 pound in it.
Um, we've had a few. Oh, what am I doing here? Getting a few F1s now down this margin. <coughs> I've uh, come closer into margin as well. I've come right up onto the shelf now. Well, it plums up best, really. But yeah, wait, there's a few down there. Catching well on corn as well, sweet corn. Um. There's a few fish coming out though, to be, to be fair, everywhere, not lake. Chap next to me on the right is catching them shallow. Um, I think the people are still catching them on the tip and, and whatever. There's a few catching them at margin. So yeah, there's a few fish getting caught. Just could be adding one more shot on this and I'm going number 10. And maybe a, a back shot or two. <laughs> that would indication they're not float. Not a good sign when a skimmer, you're picking up a skimmer. The skimmer down this margin. Come with a six inch up length on this margin rig. Had another shot. I'm just trying bulk it. I've bulked all my shot together. I'm just trying that at the minute. Um, obviously, with the stocks, you can uh, move it around. So, that's all I'm doing. It. I'll probably move them depending on how I need to fish. I'm having to leave a section on because we're just oh, bolting off that quick. Had to do it, man. Just put a couple of grains of corn in. That's better. Bikes seem to be better with a six inch up length. I'm using a four, maybe maybe that's where we're going wrong on the other. But now I move to a six. But yeah, it's uh, it's going alright. I enjoy it. I always enjoy fishing. But it's more enjoyable when the weather's nice and it's uh, it's warm and. So it's going under a few times and tips go around. It tells a lot of fish that it's floats doing spinner owners. That extra number 10 is just a bit too much. That's 
an indication that little float popped up then. There's some garden in this place here, these, this marginal bit, he's cutting back. It'd be a nightmare to fish these margins at heights of summer. Tell that shot off. I've drawn a good peg, well not a good peg really, but because it's an M peg today, it's, it's turned into a good draw. That big cube of corn, just pull float right under, nearly. So, indication of float then. Maybe what I need to do is catch a fish, feed it, rest it, try and move a short line. Maybe that's what I need to do. I'm going to try the 2 plus 2 straight in front of me, line in a set. That's the fish. Feels like a carp as well when it's pulling. You'd think it wouldn't grab weight, fat how fast it went under, but I've had a lot of foul luck because they had one carp like dolphin out of water. Good fish as well. Oh, yeah, it's foul looked. I can tell it's foul looked. It's just like, you know. Feels quite heavy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's carp. Looks like it's up fruit chops. But the problem with carp is a five pound carp takes him twice as long as a five pound F1. Well, we need everyone in today, so it takes as long as it takes in it, I suppose, to land.
would have had hundred pa- over hundred pound by now if the, the other ones would, I would have stayed on. They were definitely far up there. You can just tell where they shot off. I'm not too sure about this one. Do not have to pull back on the bowl. It's something like a six or seven pound common, you know. Just, just don't give it. I've, I've, I've had thirty pound long, long uh, less less time than these. Incredible power for a five pound fish. Right, bank centre at mid up top lip. If I can't fish in that, I'd happen, I'd be fuming. <laughs> Um, right, so when we're done, we'll be and leave you guys, and I'm gonna, I'll catch you at Wayne's. I'm going to crack on see what we can get in there.